think it's about everyone in Tennessee who wants to vote by mail can. A Nashville judge has ordered Tennessee to offer a vote by mail option for everyone. This due to the coronavirus pandemic. Now in the past, Tennessee has only allowed absentee ballots and mail in voting for things like illness and travel, as well as being over the age of 60. Reporter Grace King explains what this could mean for voters. We hope that this ruling stands and protects every person uh, in Tennessee seeking to exercise their right to vote safely. On Thursday, a Nashville chancellor ordered Tennessee to offer a vote by mail option. It just makes common sense to allow every voter to cast their vote safely and securely rather than to having to risk their health and safety by going to a polling place while we have the worst pandemic in a century going on. Most states already offer mail-in voting without an excuse, and among those that normally require one, 11 have made exceptions for COVID-19. While this decision technically adds Tennessee to that list, the Attorney General's office says it plans to challenge the ruling because it, quote, failed to appropriately consider the extensive safety measures of the COVID-19 election plan. I don't think, in my view, that there's a need to expand uh, excuse voting, uh, absentee voting, uh, but that court, and I certainly respect the court's decision and the court disagreed, on the administrative side, Knox County has already been preparing for an influx of mail-in ballots. For us, it's just a matter of being able to ramp up and make sure we have the, the adequate space, the adequate supplies, the adequate staffing. So we have everything that we need to be able to process it. The biggest difference could be on election night. I think the big challenge we're going to face is with a huge increase in absentee ballots, we may not be done counting those by election night. Grace King, Fox 43 News. You can request an absentee ballot for the August 6th election through now through July 30th. The Knox County Health Department today reported eight new cases of COVID-19, bringing the total to 460. Most have already recovered, making the number of active cases 92. It's a drop from 112 yesterday. Reporter Jim Matheny boils down the numbers to answer a very common question. Is the coronavirus now spreading faster in Tennessee? Well, we know you get bombarded with numbers about COVID-19, and after a while, it can kind of be like keeping track of coins in a jar. Just hard to tell if it's speeding up or slowing down. And the answer is right now in Knox County, the virus is spreading faster than it was a month ago. And they expected it when people tried to get back to business. What we are seeing, we are seeing a statistically significant increase in new cases. Um, but that can be attributed to a lot of different things, as we mentioned. Um, but the, the data does support that they, they are going up. You might be wondering, is this increase just because we're doing more testing? While that could be part of it, we've already been testing heavily going back to late April. And things have still gone up since then. Take a look at the yellow on these graphs. That's the growth rate of the virus in Knox County. You see lots of yellow going into early April, then it leveled off, bumped back up when businesses reopened in early May, then leveled off again for a few days. But the last couple of weeks, the yellow is back. The number of cases are increasing. Whether testing's increasing or not, we're still getting more cases in the community. The other measure the state often talks about when tracking the virus, percent positive. Basically, out of all the people who got tested in the last week, what percentage came back positive? And you see in early April, that percent positive was up around 10%, then dropped to around 7 in mid-April. By the second week of May, it was down to 3%. But in the last week, that percentage has gone up to 5 and now 6%, with no real drastic increase in testing. So the bottom line is yes, the virus is spreading faster in Tennessee than it was just a few weeks ago. Again, this virus is out there and it's present, and we really want people to follow the guidelines. So if you want the county's two cents, they say whatever you do, don't let your guard down and help put a lid on this virus.